Hello friends, today in this video I am going to show you how to fix an ADMA policy violation issue regarding the interstitial ad placements. This is the email I have received from Google AdMob on Jan 29th which says action required to avoid immediate ad serving disruption. My app ID was mentioned and for the complete details we need to go to AdMob policy center. So here it shows my app name and status. Ad serving at risk fixed by February 1st, 2024. And the issue is layout encourages accidental clicks. Okay, click on this fix. Here they have given some to do points. Review the policies and guidelines, fix the issues, upload the new version and request for review. But if you think the app already follows our policies and product restrictions, go to step 4 and request a review. Okay. There are some screenshots also for the flow. On clicking the back button in this data view screen, I am showing the ad and on closing the ad, going back to data view screen. But the issue says layout encourages accidental clicks, unexpected launch interstitials. Okay, click on this ad mob interstitial ad guidance. Click the disallowed interstitial implementations. Here they have explained some disallowed implementation examples. So, we need to check these examples carefully and verify if our app is having any such kind of interstitial ad placements. All these ad placements falls under disallowed implementations. And the only recommended flow is user chooses an action, then first show the interstitial ad, on closing it, go to the user action page. Okay, let's see how to fix this issue in the code. Run the app. See there are no ads displayed because AdMob stopped ad servings for my app. But how to test the app now? For that, first let's change the AdMob application ID to get the test ads for testing. This is the sample AdMob app ID. Replace your app's actual app ID with this and run the app. If you are still not getting the ads, then go to modules build.gradle file and change the application id with any random id sync the gradle files remove the app from the emulator now run and install the app onto the emulator see the test ads are getting displayed now let's test the flow this is the ingredients data view page on clicking back showing the ad and on closing the ad, coming back to the same data view screen. But the correct implementation is on closing the ad, it has to take user to the particular page which user is expecting to see. In my case, the user has to go back to the previous page which is not happening here. So this flow we need to change. Go to that particular activity where you are implementing the interstitial ad. So on create method, I am loading the interstitial ad. And on loading the ad, setting the full screen content callback for the ad actions. And on clicking the back option, I am checking for interstitial ad not null, then show the ad. Or if it is null, simply go back to previous activity. So this much is correct, but on closing the ad, it has to go back to previous activity. So what we have to do is, implement the back action after showing the interstitial ad means implement the action inside on ad showed full screen content method. Now run the app. Ok, click on back, ad displayed, close the ad. See it goes back to the previous screen. And handle this for fail to show full screen content method also. Here you can ask me why can't we implement this user action on closing the ad instead of on showing the ad. Ok, let's do that. Comment this here and do the same action inside on ad dismissed full screen content method. Now run the app. Go to the data view screen. Click the back button. Ad displayed. Now close the ad. See for a fraction of seconds. It shows the current activity and immediately it goes to the previous activity. So that lag was there. That's why it is better to handle it on add showed method only. 
But if you are going to an another activity on user action, instead of simply going back to previous screen, you should not call that start activity in this method. Because calling the start activity after showing the ad will replace the ad with the activity. See here on clicking the user action, displaying the ad but it is overlapping the ad with new activity. So if user is expecting to see the new activity on user action then call that activity on on ad dismissed full screen content method. So that on closing the ad user will see the new screen. But to go back to previous screen we can do it in here itself because back action is disabled for full screen ads. So it will not replace the ad. Hope you understand. So check all the places wherever you have implemented these interstitial ads and handle it in proper way. Test the app thoroughly. Now change back the application ID in build.gradle and the admob app ID in manifest file before creating the release build. And also update the version number, sync gradle files and generate the signed build. Now update this build to production. So on February 6th, I have updated my app with violation issue fix in the production and it got published. Now after publishing the changes to production, go to your AdMob account, open policy center page, click on this fix button. Here click the request review button. So enter the details about your fix and submit the request. So the review request was submitted on February 6, 2024 and on same day after few hours I have received the email saying we have completed reviewing your app and no policy violations were found. Ok go to add mob page. See no policy issues are found and the ad servings are also resumed. See now I am getting the ads for my app without even changing the AdMob app ID and the application ID. Hope you got the clear picture on how to solve these kind of AdMob policy errors related to interstitial ads by watching this video. If yes, please comment, like the video and subscribe to iRecaTech Solutions. Thank you.